you back in the Zanzibar building, head to the elevator and take it up to the third floor. Use the level 4 card on this door and then again on this door on the right side. Then the red card on the next door and make sure that the guard is walking away from the door so he doesn't spot you as soon as you walk in and turn the gas on. Then there's also a trap door in the middle of the room so be careful in here. Use the red card again on the next two doors and grab the robot mouse which helps you sniff out traps. Go back and use the red card on this door and the one after it to get some more mice. Then head back out here and use the level 4 card to get in here and grab some rations. Then head west and use the level 4 card on this door to find the little girl who despises men with guns. Fine, fuck you too. Head south and there'll be this weird sensor that expands and then goes back to nothing. So you can sneak past it into this open room to get some mines, but you run the risk of walking right into the sensor on your way out, so you really don't need to do this. If you want mines badly enough, you can grab them in the minefield. Sneak by this next sensor, use the red card, and grab some remote control missiles. Then head back out here and use the red card on the southern door. Keep heading down, take out the guard, and use the red card on this door, but be sure to put on your gas mask before heading in. Then book it down the corridor and keep your eye on the camera trailing along the end. Use the table as a shield if you absolutely have to. When you get to the door, use the level 4 card and you'll enter a room of complete darkness, with the exception of this light switch that you can see for some reason. Punch it to turn it on and use the level 4 card on this door. Take out the three guards once they turn around and use the red card to get into the next room. Take out the guard in here and grab the night vision goggles. Just stay near the wall so you don't fall into these trap doors. On the way back you can use the red card to head down to the other side of the hallway. Wearing the gas mask of course and using the level 4 card will lead you to some gas grenades. Now head back to the elevator and take it up to the fourth floor. Then use the level 4 card on this door. Take out the guard and then sneak past the sensor. Take a left at the intersection and head down. Use the red card here and a kid will tell you that all soldiers stand straight up when they hear the national anthem. Head back to the intersection and go north. Follow the linear path watching out for this camera and any guards if they're around. Use the red card on this room and this little girl will tell you that there's only one bathroom and it's in the southeast. Head back out and continue following the path you were taking. Use the red card on this door and this boy will tell you to go to the medical room for pills if you catch a cold. Use the level 4 card on this room and you'll find another pitch black room. Put on the night vision goggles and crawl through the vent. Stop yourself right as you get across as this trap door will open up. Sneak around it and this little girl will tell you that there are dummy soldiers nearby. Use the red card on this next door and you'll walk into a room full of dummy soldiers. What the hell did they make these things for? Use the red card on the next room which is also full of dummies and... Oh, that explains that they lured you in. If you notice, the live soldier is facing a different direction than the rest, so shoot him before you advance. In the next room there will be a bunch of dummy soldiers, but three of them are real. Don't bother testing which ones are real, just chuck a gas grenade into the mix and they'll all perish. Use the level 4 card to advance to this cafeteria. Now you don't want to get into a habit of killing the guards in this room because one of them is Natasha. But if you do take them all out and head to this area and come back, one guard will respawn and it will be Natasha. So there's really no harm or no foul. So sneak around these tables and use the red card to get in here and get some rations. Head down and right and go into the men's room and grab a bucket that's in there. Head back out and camp out by the women's room. This is going to sound creepy, but you have to wait for one of the soldiers to go in there and follow her inside, which will be Natasha. She'll use your transceiver to talk to Dr. Marv. Then she hits you with the translation that Dr. Marv is being held at the detention center at the tower building. Then shows you an elevator that leads to a shortcut to the tower through the sewer. Who the fuck builds an elevator in a woman's bathroom, let alone one that leads to a sewer? Hop in the elevator and take it down to the third floor basement. Natasha will follow you. You'll get to this area with these big ass machines that maneuver their way across the floors. You can't go around them and if you make contact with them you're fucked. So keep your eye on the radar to see where they are and only advance when there's room. Take a left here to grab an ammo pack and then continue heading north. Watch out for the trap door here and make sure that the coast is clear of these machines. Follow the linear path until you get to this T intersection. Bang a right and slip into this nook to let the machine pass by and then head left as the machine takes the hallway south. Call the elevator up and take it up to the first floor where you'll reach Dr. Petrovich's cell. He'll give you a level 5 ID card that he stole from a guard and joins your party as you search for Dr. Marv. Head back down the elevator and go right to this nook that you used earlier and use the level 5 card to open this door. Head up a few screens of the sewer tunnel and Petrovich will ask to rest a bit. 
Snake agrees and Petrovich leaves the area to take a piss or to take care of his natural desires. Whatever the hell he means by that. Natasha and Snake sit down and talk for a bit. They ask about each other's families, Snake saying he has none, and Natasha mentioning that she almost married a man named Frank Yeager back when she was an ice skater. But she hasn't seen him since she was stripped of her competition and joined the STB. So then Petrovich returns and it's back off to find Dr. Marv. Continue on and take the elevator up to the first floor. Get your mind detector out because there are mines when you get to the screen here. And you can't crawl when you have other people in your party so you're going to have to maneuver your way around them. First hop into this truck to get some mines and then hug the wall here to get past the mines on the ground. You get to a bridge and everyone decides to walk one at a time to avoid its potential collapse. I guess this is a real cheap ass bridge. Petrovich goes first then Natasha, but right as she stops to tell Snake he can cross, a missile blasts the bridge apart and sends her back to the other side. Snake tries to talk to Natasha, but she's dying, so she gives him the level 6 card and a brooch that she doesn't have time to explain its use as she utters the word Frank before dying. Some soldiers come by to take Petrovich away and Metal Gear shows up with Snake's old friend Grey Fox inside, telling him he will let him live this time because of their history, but orders him to leave the country as he takes Petrovich prisoner. So Snake rescues Grey Fox in Metal Gear 1, and now Fox is on the other side of the fence trying to kill him. Pretty fucked up, huh? Make your way back, and you'll get a call from Holly who suggests you fly a hang glider off the 20th floor of the tower building to get across the bridge. But to get one, you'll have to go to the eastern part of the Zanzibar building on the first floor. Head east, and this area that was locked up earlier is open now, and you can crawl again. So get down and grab the mines that surround the perimeter, and hop into each truck to get remote control missiles, gas grenades, some ammo packs, green pineapple grenades, a ration, and plastic explosives. Now head back west and use the level 6 card on this south door to get a shortcut to the tower building. You've got to get back to the Zanzibar building to get the hang glider though, so backtrack your way there, remember again about the squeaky sand and the mines in between the buildings. Head back here where you got the red ID card and use the level 6 card to get in here and grab the blue ID which combines cards 4 through 6, making things much simpler now. Head back to the elevator and take it up to the 4th floor. When you get to the 4 way intersection, take a right, kill the guard and use the blue card on the southern door. The boy will tell you to go to the medical room to get pills if you catch a cold, which you already know, and the girl will tell you a secret, that a woman has a brooch that can change shape. Like that a coincidence, cause I just got a brooch from a woman with a mysterious use. Use the blue card on this northern door. You can open up the two lockers on the outside left of each row. In the bottom one, there'll be a little girl that's playing hide and seek, and the top one, there'll be nothing. It seems useless, but one of these lockers can be unlocked later. Move east to the next screen and then south to the next and get down and crawl so you don't wake up any of the guards. You also don't want to get spotted by the camera, so make sure that you stay behind it and crawl under one of the beds to hide from it when it comes back up. When you get here, use the red card to open the door and throw on your night vision goggles, because these guards sleep in the dark and if you turn on the light switch, they'll wake up. Crawl your way up north to the medical room and use the blue card to get in and grab the pills. Then crawl back to the southern part of the room and use the red card to get into the sauna. A naked guard will come in and thank god they censored his junk. Shoot him or hide under the bench if you want to save a bullet cause he'll leave. When you check your equipment you'll notice that Natasha's brooch has transformed into a key thanks to the heat. Head back out being sure to crawl your way there and remember to hide from the camera. Go back to the locker room and use the brooch key on this locker and grab the cassette. If you look at the tape, it says it plays the Zanzibar National Anthem. Head back to this room and crawl into the garbage chute. You'll end up in this room and you'll want to hurry and use the red card on this door before the trash compactor kills you. Follow the linear path and use the red card on this door to get to the elevator. Take it up to the first floor basement, head north, kill the guard and use the red card on this door. Don't worry about the open room down there, there's nothing in it. Then go back to the elevators and use the red card to open up this southern door. Kill the guard but be careful of the trap door over here. Use the red card on this door to get some plastic explosives. Then use the blue card on this door to get some ammo. Then head east and use the red card here to get the submachine gun. Now I recommend sticking with the normal gun when you're sneaking since you should only need one shot at a time. When you get caught that's when you're going to want to use the submachine gun because you can get multiple shots off in different directions by holding the fire button down. So then use the blue card here to get some grenades. 